Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Mama June and her boyfriend recently getting out of jail. Also, there's rumors that the two may be getting engaged soon. Yeah, even though he just got out of jail, he was recently released like March 16th. That is what, two weeks ago? Yeah, he was released like two weeks ago and now the two are already sparking rumors that they may be engaged. That video will be coming up next, so keep your eye out about that. Um, I'm going to share my thoughts and all the evidence that we had that the two may be getting engaged. But today we're going to talk about the day that Justin was released from jail. Now, to talk about him being released, we got to kind of back it up a little bit and just kind of talk about what landed him there in the first place, right? Now, keep in mind, this happened over two years ago. So, I'm not saying that he still um, has any issues as far as... I don't think he's an active addict. I actually think he is uh, in recovery as well. I think he and Mama June, despite the arrest and everything going on, I do think that he is sober. And I think that they're doing, uh, you know, decently. Like I said, despite the arrest. It's probably like the only thing going on. But Justin was originally arrested for possession of marijuana and paraphernalia, as well as burglary, burglary at a dwelling in the third degree and theft of property in November 2019. He pled guilty to two of the charges. Um, Justin went to a rehab. While he was at the rehab facility, he had taken something commonly known as water, I guess is what they say. It doesn't show up on drug tests. It's actually GHB. One day while at the facility, he was acting like he was under the influence of something. So they administered a drug test to which he passed. He passed the drug test, but the next day he sobered up and he actually admitted what he had done. He told them that he had taken some drug known as water, GHB. Um, his probation officer actually worked with him pretty well. Despite the slip up, they allowed him to be transferred from one county CCP to another county CCP where he would be able to maintain employment and he would have a place to live. So, he was supposed to report to his probation officer, which he did the month of September. He reported to his probation officer, but in October, he missed three meetings. He missed a meeting on the 21st, 22nd, and the 25th. So, on October 26, 2021, there was a warrant issued for Justin's arrest. Now, him and Mama June actually were already talking around October. And we know this because that's when Mama June actually first posted about having a new boo. She posted it on her Instagram page where she gave a shout out to a local tattoo shop and it showed a picture of a forearm with a tattoo and it said thank you to so-and-so tattoo shop for my new boo or whatever. So that's how we knew she had a new man. Now after that, Mama June and this uh, man, they were spotted all over the place. He was in Las Vegas in December. However, we don't know if he was there with Mama June because the pictures that he posted, none were actually of Mama June. There were photos of the two in uh, LA, they were in Georgia, and then he was arrested in Florida. Now, I do believe that maybe the police or someone was watching his Instagram account or his social media accounts, and they were kind of keeping up where he was going to be. And I think someone maybe called in uh, a tip for his arrest, or maybe, like I said, the, the police were watching because, because Mama June invited him to this upscale cocktail party in Florida. They were at the party, and an eyewitness said that four cop cars pulled up to the party. They spoke to the valet. And then after that, got back in their cars. When Mama June and Justin left the party, they drove across the street to a gas station. And it was at that time that those four cop cars swarmed Mama June and her boyfriend. They surrounded them and then her boyfriend was arrested. The um, body cam from that day was released. Also, there were, you know, people outside of the store that was recording what took place. When it was announced that Mama June had a new man and that he had a warrant, I was kind of worried, especially considering that was the warrant was due to behavior like drugs and burglary, I was like, oh God, I hope she hasn't gotten involved with someone that's still struggling with addiction, right? But when he got arrested that day, Mama June was talking to the police officers and she asked about his medication. I'm not going to name the medication because I don't really feel like that's appropriate. But one thing that I will say is it was like a maintenance medication, something to keep him from relapsing. And this particular maintenance medication also has a blocker in it. So say he wanted to try to do drugs. Now this one, I think it's for like, if you're like addicted to pain medication, right? Different types of pills. You take this medication, and if you were to take one of those pills, it would actually block the effects of it, so you wouldn't feel it anyways. So, Mama June was asking the police officer, like, hey, can he take his medication? 
and they was like, no, they'll give him whatever he ne he needs. But that really made me feel better because I was like, oh, good. He's on a maintenance medication that's hopefully, you know, hopefully keeping him sober. Hopefully he is not like still in the midst of his addiction because I was like kind of concerned because Mama June's been doing so well lately. She's been rebuilding her relationship with her family. So I was like, this would be terrible if she got involved with someone that was still an active addict. Um, so, like I said, an eyewitness told the story that there were four cops pulled up, talked to the valet, and then swarmed at Mama June and her boyfriend. He was arrested. That happened back in February. And now, March, we're at the end of March, but like two weeks ago, March 16th, he was released from the jail. Uh, we have a little bit of a video of when he was released. We TV cameras was not there. At least, I didn't see any from this video. I'll go ahead and show you guys the video. I'm going to remove the audio because Mama June, she likes to drop a few F-bombs and the boyfriend... He's a cursor too. So I'm going to remove the audio. But what is said, um, at one point, he comes out, he hugs Mama June, and he turns around and he hugs this other lady. I don't know who she is, but I think she may be his mother. And he says, um, he says something to the effect of, let's get away from this place. And then Mama June says, you were walking so slow. But they both, their sentences are filled with curse words. As far as mine's just straight to the point. He's like, let's get away from this place. And she was like, well, you were walking so slow. Here's the video, you guys, of Mama June. She's welcoming her boyfriend home once he got out of jail. Go ahead and take a look. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. Mama June is happy. Her man is home. I don't know if he'll still be on probation or what happens now. But yeah, he spent about a month in jail. He had been um, kind of on the run, I guess you could say, since October for about four months before he was finally caught. And now there's talks that Mama June and her boyfriend, Justin Stroud, may just be engaged. We'll have a video about that coming up next, so keep your eyes out. What do you guys think about Mama June and this? I keep wanting to say her new man. Um, I mean, it's pretty new considering she was with Gino for a few years. It's been about six months or I guess you could say that we know for sure that she's been with him. So it does still feel like this is like her new man. What do you guys think about Justin? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below and keep your eyes open for my next video. Mama June and Justin, are they getting married? I don't know you guys.